means he's always there with me. Mm -hmm. You got the Holy Ghost, too. Come on. That's all it means. Come on. Oh, wow. So is the presence of the Lord here right now? Yes. 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 Now, I want you all to know that, see, what y'all are looking for is Hollywood. Y'all want that in Charleston, Heston to walk out and <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's of Hollywood. Church, a lot of times people want this dramatic, this cinematic, you know, this. Mm, when the scripture says, come on, come on, the Lord wasn't in the rock, the rock group, earth, wind, and fire. Did y'all hear what it, did y'all hear when Elijah went to the, and he ran for 40 days, and, 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 and he ran to the, to the cave, and the scripture said, and the earth rent, and the Lord wasn't in the shaking. It said, and the wind blew, and the Lord wasn't in the wind. And the fire came, and the Lord was in the fire. Earth, wind, fire. Okay, brother Greg. That's you thought I was just joking. <laughs> Amen. God wasn't in that, right? But where was the Lord? The still, small voice. Where was it to be heard? In here. The oh y'all go on there. The still small voice. Be still and know that God is the the still small voice. Mm -hmm. Sister Melody said, "Where two or three are gathered together in my name, that's where I am, and I'm right in the midst." Church of God, you got to recognize these things here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Montgomery need to realize that when she's just with me, amen, she, this is not just us here, amen, as husband and wife, but the Spirit of the Lord is in the midst. Amen? Yes. yes. Praise the Lord. When Sister Sheila and Sister Lisa is, y'all, you know, you all are in, uh, y'all hear what I'm saying, just getting together, friend, talking about, what is that, what y'all call it, die, die this and die that. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. That, that, you know, that, 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 that gentility of friendship. Really, the Lord is in the midst. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on, you got, come on, church. These are some uh, places of awareness that we've got to be at all the time. But too often time, we become so dull in our understanding. And the church said, ouch. <laughs> Amen. Because too often time, we see flesh and not God. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. All we see is flesh. Mm -hmm. But let me can can I can I share with you all what 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 kills most people on the planet Earth? You saw, you all saw it in uh, Richard. You saw it in <laughs> Richard said living. <laughs> what? <laughs> Richard in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What 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 natural phenomena kill most people on planet Earth? You all saw it in Tennessee this week. Water. Yeah. Water kill more people than anything. Most of us don't even understand, really appreciate the power of water. Water. So if they, if somebody was to write the has. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Your baby gonna grow up as a baby. Be on it with the everybody. Yeah, but that's how it is. the Lord. <laughs> Amen. But but when you look at the natural phenomena. 
church. Why is it that now we, we will sometime in a, in a church setting, we will question the presence of the Lord because of issues that we got going on in here. But you never do question whether the wind exists, do you? No. Uh, amen? amen? You never do question the temperature, do you? Because you feel it in your natural. Amen. amen. All of the hidden phenomena, you never do question them. Why do you question the presence of the Lord? When he woke you up this morning, started you on your way. Amen. When he blessed you to realize a brand new day that you never experienced before. Amen. Why are you going to yes. take that for granted? Why are you going to do stupid stuff in your thinking? You better wake up and represent as a son of God. Amen. You Come on, church. Amen. You better humble yourself before the mighty hand of God and let him give you exaltation. Don't ever pick yourself up. You let God put you up. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Amen. Not because you are in a church setting. Not because you are in what we call, quote, unquote, a <laughs> praise setting. Let me tell you, church. You see, I, I, all of us ought to be real students of the Old Testament. When you go into the Old Testament, God had built that temple for purpose. Amen. What was the purpose for the temple being built? Everything in the Old Testament, he said that they were... Shadows. Amen. In essence, the light of God was shining and there was something called the law that cast a shadow. I'm going to take it. I ain't going to take it. I want you all to understand this. When you go to Psalms 141, so that you can see the purpose of temple, God has not changed his worship methodologies. They are still the same today. Psalms 141. Amen. Everybody. The temple that was then, where is that temple now? Come on, everybody. Where is the temple today? Your body is the temple of the Lord. Amen. So the present day temple, the old temple was a shadow. Where, where are the priests today? Right here, he has made you priests, right? Yes. Kings and priests. Where, where are the kings today? Right here. Right here. Right. Glory to God. Now, go to Psalms 141. And we're going we're gonna to cut off a little bit early today. Praise the Lord. Psalms 141. And the scripture says this, Lord, I cry unto thee, make haste unto me, give ear unto my voice when I cry unto thee. Mm -hmm. Verse 2 says, let my prayer be set before thee as... Now who all understand temple worship? When, how often and when often was the incense placed before the Lord? What was, what was John the Baptist's daddy doing when the angel spoke to him. Do it, but what? See, he had a special order in the temple. What was his order in the temple? He, he, his whole duty was one thing. He had to order incense before the Lord. That was Zachar Zacharias' whole job. God prescribed, go to Leviticus, and I want you all to study Leviticus and, 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 and Deuteronomy. Study them, study them, amen. Study them so that you can see the way, the conduct that's supposed to be going on in the temple right now. Amen. So here he said, let my prayer be set before thee as 
Incense. So the incense, come on, what is the Old Testament incense is the prayer of the New Testament. This is why the scripture says the incense was supposed to be ordered before God as a sweet smelling Savior. It was supposed to have been burning up all the time. The scripture says that...